Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Scene Sprout. If it's your first time meeting me, my name is Chris, and today I decided to return to Slate Run. Uh, if you watched last week's video, you'll know that um, the river is very low right now, and so it's uh, still very low, <laughs> which is good, because I decided to come back here so that I could explore up the uh, up this riverbed here, since I can walk along it now. So we're going to go ahead and head up that way and see what we can get, so if that sounds interesting to you, grab your cameras and let's go. Alright guys, well, plans didn't work out again. <laughs> went, uh, went over, I'm actually going to kind of turn around here a little bit. Uh, just a minute ago, I was just back off that direction, just over that tree actually, um, when we just met, or when we just talked. So, came down this way, and there's a bunch of trees and stuff that have been falling over and it's not really something I can get around and there's you know it is still a creek bed so there's still a lot of water um, around the corners here pretty big pool actually so I didn't bring my swimming gear today sorry guys so but as last week we will be walking away with an image so what I think I might do is just kind of a fun little thing while we're walking around and exploring today is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Play like a little montage of my favorite three photographs um, and then you know maybe I'll have a video down the road where I'll just kind of show off all of my favorite ones kind of give you a story behind them um, but for today we're gonna we're gonna find us a photo we're gonna figure this out so stick around and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment So, as I'm walking here, I um, figured, you know, you guys just watched a little clip there of a couple of my more favorite shots over the last year and a half. And I just remembered last, about four days ago, I tried to go out and shoot a video and it was really foggy and just nothing really worked out um, video-wise. However, I did get a couple of pretty interesting little shots, so I'll go ahead and put those up on the screen here, share those with you since I um, wasn't able to get the video to work out. Um, today's video is going a lot better it seems. There's that sun in my face. Woo. So yep, I'm gonna go put those up on there and then uh, see what you guys think. As always let me know. Comment down below. I know I keep saying that comment 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 but you know I'm here to grow. And I want to know what you think. If you hate my photos I need to know why. Give me some input. I can take constructive criticism pretty well. You know don't be rude about it. If you want to be rude, I guess can't stop you. Um, you know, but uh, anyways, I'll keep on going here and we'll uh, get back to you in just a moment. What's up everybody? Quick PSA here. See this tree? Yeah, this tree here. See all that scarring on there? Shame on you guys. Yeah, it's cute. I get it. Carving your name in a tree. It's gonna be cute. You know, oh, 
people see us forever. I can bring my grandkids here. I mean, I get it, I get it, but you're scarring a tree, man. I don't see anybody running around putting their name on you. Anyways, uh, if you like her this much, or him, put a ring on it. You know, just saying, just saying. Anyways, let's keep going. bench have a seat enjoy this moment beautiful morning I don't know how often you guys get to get out in the morning and yeah, whether it's the weekend or yeah it's it's hard a lot of a lot of days you spend all your mornings getting up getting ready to go to a job that you may not like or maybe you love but it's still hard work you know it's still a job uh, I mean my job personally I love it and yeah, if you don't get to get out in the morning too often, it it's awesome. You know, going out in the evening before sunset can be nice, but everybody, you know, you've been up all day. The world's gotten a lot more energy, and things have been going on, a lot of hustle and bustle, so it's nice to get out in the morning before everything gets going. Everything's still peaceful. You know, this is when nature gets going, so. You know, the sun comes up, the light starts hitting everything. Everything looks, you know, beautiful, that morning orange light. It's definitely, uh really enjoyable experience so anyways I stopped here to have a like I said sit here and enjoy the more moment for for a little bit here drink some water and then uh, head, off, head off that way back down the trail a little bit more um, I might take a picture right here if I do of course you guys will know about it we'll show you that um, but for now let's uh, let's continue this journey All right, I actually did stop. Um, there's a bunch of these little purple flowers around here. I'll, uh, I'll flip this around so you can see it. And it's just the sun is hitting it perfectly. It might be a little bit bright. I may end up having to use a polarizer on this to kind of take the glare off, but I don't want to want to preserve as much of that purple color as I can on there. And then uh, I think that uh, we'll use the telephoto lens 55 to 200 zoom in on it um, what that's going to do for us is kind of compress the background try and make it not a part of the picture just more of the background going to get some of the green color and stuff from it as a, a background <laughs> so many times I can say background so we get set up and then we'll uh, I'll kind of go back over the, the settings as well and we'll try out to see what we get here so, see you in a moment all right, hopefully this thing hasn't been wanting to stay focused. But anyway, as you can see the shot here, pretty straightforward. Like I said, using the uh, 55 to 200. And what that does is by zooming in on those flowers there, that compresses the background and blurs it out as you can see. So it gives it this nice green background, um, but you don't see all the details. It's not distracting. And that completely isolates these flowers so you can really get the you know the viewing pleasure <laughs> um, settings also pretty straightforward my shutter speed at 1 250th of a second uh, aperture at 5.6 and my ISO at 100 of course um, as I've said you know you want to keep your ISO as low as you can if you have it on a tripod you can pretty much set that as low as you want shutter speed will be pretty high but that's that's okay and then the aperture of 5.6, that's just to make sure I don't get anything beyond those flowers in focus. So, go ahead and take this shot and I'll show you guys, see what you think. Let me know in the comments below. And then uh, I think we can keep going, see if we can get uh, one more picture. So I don't know if you can see that very well over this. It's kind of right there, dead center. These white flowers, I forget what they're called. I've seen a couple of different variations, and one of them supposedly melts your skin, so I'd rather not get too much closer. Anyways, <laughs> um, the sunlight's coming from up over there. I won't turn too much. And it's shining on all the dew, and all those little water droplets. I'm going to see if I can get in close enough and capture that. 
I am going to hand hold it because let me flip you around here so we can talk a little more personally because um, I just realized you know doing this YouTube is it's a lot of fun doing these videos and uh, the biggest downside is setting up your camera gear and a tripod and getting all that bag back and putting it all together and then putting it all back in your bag <laughs> so um, generally I, I prefer more running gun if I can hand hold the shot it's a lot easier you can enjoy your rock so I'll take a shot with suits think Well, as you can see, I decided to go with a different picture. Uh, as soon as I um, stopped recording to take the picture, uh, the sun moved just enough that it wasn't hitting that spot anymore. So, obviously, a pretty big field here. So, I went and I uh, found a new one. So, not the most amazing shots I've ever taken, but they were still kind of an interesting thing to find this morning. You never really know what you're going to find. And, you know, and honestly, it's mostly woodlands where I live. So it gets really hard to take pictures that are grand and, you know, big mountain peaks or wide open oceans and, you know, sea stacks. And <laughs> so you go, you got to go with what you can find. But I think in a way, don't get me wrong, I would love to go to Iceland or, you know, New Zealand or anywhere where there's, there's just magical landscapes. That would be amazing. Um, but I think that... Doing woodland photography, you know, and just nature, kind of general nature photography, it helps you with your composition and your photography because you never know what you're going to find, and it isn't always something that's just easily shot. You might know, you might know the, uh, you know, all the the technical stuff, but if you can't really grasp the uh, composition, or you know, the can't see the forest of the trees, so it's definitely a challenge. Um, you know, there's a lot of times I come out for a walk and the only thing I really find is some flowers. And that's not really a bad thing. I like flowers. You know, they're pretty. Uh, there's different flowers each time of the year minus winter. That would be kind of cool, winter flowers. If there is any winter flowers and I didn't know about them, let me know down below in the comments. That would be awesome. Um, so yeah, but anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. It's uh, starting to get a little bit warmer. I don't know if you can see the sweat coming off my face. And I'd rather not just sit here sweating in front of you guys and wiping my face. It just... Uh, it's not great video content so yeah I hope whoever you liked all the videos or <laughs> all the images and of course the video if you like the video please like and uh, you know comment if there's something you didn't like if you if you end up thumbs down on this video let me know let me know what I need to do to improve um, if it's just not your style of video completely understand no hard feelings so um, yeah let me know in the comments down below and um, let's do a question of the day I uh, see a few youtubers do that I kind of like that especially because I want to know how, you know, you guys got into photography, actually, so you can comment down below. Let me know how you got into photography. If you're not into photography, that's fine. Let me know down below. You're not into photography. You just like uh, watching nature videos. Well, maybe you just like seeing my goofy bald head. So, either way, <laughs> until next time, guys, take it easy.